Okay, this is not a very sharp knife. A little bit. Not very good. So, I've got several different sharpening methodologies here that I've used over time from Japanese water stones. I like to use a steel on my kitchen knives. Kind of a woodworker and I like to cook. So I like sharp knives, sharp tools. This is for my chisels. This is uh, an angle setting guide. Uh, each of these little facet faces here, uh, each represent a different angle. You choose your angle like so. 35, 25, 15, whatever your chisel or your, uh, uh, what do you call, your plain uh, chisel. Uh, you can uh, set your edge and you can do things like, you know, water stones. Uh, I've, I've tried scary sharp, you know, method with the sandpaper. Works out really well actually for my chisels and uh, the blades for my planes. Um, I've got some you know, multi-tools like this guy here for maybe throwing in a backpack. I got this guy here um, for a little bit of everything. I use that from kitchen to my camp knives to uh, not so much the chisels or the uh, planes. It's not really meant for that. Um, I sometimes will keep, you know, a little ceramic uh, rod in the, uh, in the kit. And sometimes we we'll use this cute little Victorinox uh, reversible, but different ways to uh, to sharpen. Uh, let me show you my favorite current methodology. My current favorite is using the uh, plywood circle, uh, plywood disc impregnated with white compound. and repeat. Follow up with some stropping uh, from the belt. Alright, finished product. Alright, just a little cheapo. Do something for pocket knife. Uh, Amora. Trying to do this for the camera, it's not easy. Let's see. All right, and it's Big Brother, the BK7. Yeah, it sticks in the pouch. I'll tell you about that some other time. Sheath, by the way, not pouch, the sheath. Uh, thanks very much. And, uh, but like I said, yeah. Eh. Not being held in there. All right. Thanks. Bye.